Hey guys, Bill P here from BP3 Crypto on BP3 TV and welcome back to the channel. So I just been going over a lot of stuff tonight, personal research, have like pages and pages and notes that have been taken. And most of it is to do with a lot of these articles that I'm coming across. Oh, remember, this is educational advice only and not financial advice. Sorry about that. That's my bettergram popping up. I don't know if you guys use Telegram or bettergram, but I switched over to bettergram. Uh, one of the YouTube influencers, Crypto Rich, turned me on to it. I like it. Works better than Telegram because it's bettergram. <laughs> no, but check it out. Seriously, it's got some... Uh, it's got some cool features. I do like the fact that I can put all the alerts right there in this one little bell. Well, I'll show you. Well, we'll do a video on that later. Better gram. Sorry about that. Anyway, so um, yeah. Here is something that, you know, I've been kind of waiting to hear, uh, not necessarily from this company, but um, just in general, because I've done some absentee voting myself in the past. And you know, it used to be quite the ordeal. And who knows if it was even uh, effective. It made us feel, though, as citizens of the United States, that we got our say. Uh, so we actually are required by law to vote. So we went through the absentee voting system. Well, as soon as all this blockchain technology came on and everybody started looking at different ideas, um, it wasn't long before somebody brought up this uh, fact that how blockchain could be used directly to make voting uh, secure, uh, safe, almost the same right there, redundant. But I mean, secure is in a fact that maybe not hackable, uh, safe, and your vote's going to make it there, um, not fall into any other hands. Uh, very cheap, um, very fast, right? So why not? And then the fact that like a lot of this blockchain technology uh, is runnable, maybe a new word there, is runnable on uh, smartphones. It's even, uh, it, it makes it even more accessible, especially to soldiers who are uh, out there in the field and are away from homes at times when we have elections. So here we go. West Virginia is the first in the US to allow some absentee voting from smartphones. So, um, and uh, hats off to everybody uh, in the military or who was in the military. I know the sacrifices uh, that you make for us and the world and the life that you help to create. So we have a place to live in where we can follow our dreams and um, live out our lives with little or no fear. So thank you. West Virginia is allowing military personnel and overseas voters to cast absentee ballots via smartphone in 24 countries using an app, becoming the first US, first state in the U.S. to allow blockchain technology in its elections. Huh. The details. After testing a pilot project using an absentee voting app in two countries during the May primary this year, Officials found the app security to be strong enough to expand the operation to 24 out of the 55 countries for the November 6th general election. Ballots have already been rolled in. Ballots have already rolled in since the early voting opened on Friday. Submitted from West Virginia station, Israel, New Zealand, Canada, United Kingdom, right? All over the world. Development of the app called Votes, V O A T Z. Votes was supplied by the Tusk by Tusk Montgomery Philanthropies and founded by the venture capitalist Bradley Tusk. Democracy would work a lot better if more people can vote, Tusk told West Virginia's Metro News. I'm going to link the article below. Uh, but you guys get it, right? It's a... Um, pilot program because it's uh, not allowed in all states and it's coming off the coattails of a previous pilot program, you know, as well, right? So what do you guys think? I mean, do you think it's um, safe? Would you use your cell phone and the underlying blockchain technology to cast a vote if you were uh, participating in absentee voting? 
Do you have access to a phone? Do you think most people or enough people will have access to a phone? And what about people who don't have access to a smartphone or a computer? They wouldn't be able to participate in absentee voting unless, I guess, if the old fashioned paper and pen method was still available. I personally already expressed my opinion at the beginning. I've been waiting for something like this to come along. And I actually do think that this is a really good idea. Using the blockchain technology to make things quicker, safer, and faster, allowing access to more people, hopefully will increase the percentage of people that participate in our absentee voting um, process that are, uh, that are allowed to. I'll leave the links, leave the link below. Feel free to check it out. I encourage you to pop up a couple more articles and um, look into them for yourself. But let me know what you think. This is Bill P from BB3 Crypto on BB3 TV with educational advice only. And, you know, I'm honestly impressed. Uh, this real world application for the blockchain technology is, is a home run in my book. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. Ciao.